I don't want to get carried away and just say too much. I really don't want to put a lot of my business out there. <laughs> um, so if you're a fan, like, do not worry about me. I'm totally fine. Um, it's just people go through stuff. Like, it, it's literally life. But the fact that I have found this new super close relationship with God is what makes me feel okay about it and what's made me accept things that have happened to me or have happened to my kids or my like family anyone around me and i am learning to love people my family i'm working on trying to love myself the way god loves his people and i i found new hobbies in a way like instead of spending a lot of my time sitting down and doing makeup um i read now like not that i had anything against reading but like i can't tell you how many books i have ordered like they're all over there and then i have some over there and i am just reread -read reading and a, a lot of them a book was given to me during one of my times of struggle and honestly without that book it would not have opened my eyes to come to God even though I believed in him and like you know I prayed and you know I say my blessing before I have dinner and like your typical prayers like whatever there's nothing wrong with that but when I read this book it was really the only answer I had to the questions I was asking and I took it as a sign and I read the book. I talked to God. I prayed all the time. I have started journaling. I have a journal now and I swear I sit at my table and I write for like three hours. And Austin will come in and be like, What are you doing? I'm like writing. He's like, Oh my god, you're still writing? Like it's been three hours. And I'm like, holy crap, like I haven't I don't I didn't even realize it's been that long. And when I write, it's kind of like a diary I guess I don't know like I'm not hiding anything like I've learned to be really honest and open and just fully put my trust in God and there are things that I'm not proud of or that I know are ugly about me and um Austin is, is respecting my privacy now he has read a lot of the things I have written um like we literally are husband and wife and he has been supporting me and not only has he been supporting me but he has gone he's going like along this journey with me and I cannot express how happy my heart is and just, I just feel such relief and I, I'm still a stress ball and I still have all kinds of anxieties and whatever but the, literally guys the only thing that is helping me is dropping to my knees and praying to God and talking to him and oh my gosh and just being honest and confessing and to, literally I it's the best thing I have ever done and I wish I would have started sooner oh my gosh I have I have done so much in 2021 already it's overwhelming but I'm so proud of myself at the same time and sometimes I just beg to like relax and slow down and go back to my normal life but that's just because of comfort I don't like I don't really necessarily like change and I do get scared but once I get over that scared part I'm like oh my god like why didn't I do this sooner and I do miss how our routine was before but like our routine as a family our whole family dynamic like it has completely changed and I really do think it's for the better and oh my gosh um I want to show you guys like all the changes that has happened in my life and like in my house and like but I don't want to come off as like bragging it's just been a long time for me it feels like since I've gotten on YouTube and just talked and like shared anything about my life and the fact that I've never had so many changes in, sh in such like a short amount of time that it, it really does seem like a lot.
but I'm literally so grateful. I'm so blessed. My family has been worried about me because I deleted all my social media um, because I haven't really been talking much. And I was like, I, I've been going through stuff personally, but I'm, I'm working on it. I'm happy. I've never felt this kind of happy um, before and it's it's overwhelming like it's almost scary but it feels good I don't even know how to explain it but I just hope I just want to say if you are going through a hard time right now do not give up and I get emotional because really crazy how one decision can change your life and like the people around you in like their lives and um if I would have just made one wrong mistake or like a decision I wish I could take back like sometimes it's just not that easy and um I feel like I'm such a weak person, but at the same time, I feel like I'm so strong that I surprise myself. And um, I know I'm not perfect. I literally know that, but I am so proud of myself for the person I am right now. And um, I don't know, I've just been going through something and I want better for myself. I want better for my kids, for my husband, for my family. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but if you are going through a hard time right now, I just want to let you know you're not alone. And I probably sound like every other basic person on YouTube, like not being rude, but you really are not alone. And I know when I watch other videos or hear other people's kind of like story or whatever, I, it makes me feel normal. It makes me feel not so alone. Um, it makes me feel a little less crazy. Um, I, and if you if you're not sure what I'm talking about, then that's cool. You're pro like, don't even worry about it. But if you know exactly what I'm talking about, or you know, like you can relate to exactly what I'm saying, then you know. And maybe I'm speaking directly to you. I'm starting to love all the imperfections about myself my kids my husband my family like I mean you know like in my eyes they're perfect I love them but there are some things that are like oh my gosh that's so annoying or oh my god like it makes me mad and don't get me wrong I still get a temper sometimes I still am not patient like I should be but at the end of the day I'm like you know what I remember saying like oh my gosh like could he just not be that way could he just not think that way could he just not do that or like my kids can they just like grow up already like and I know that sounds so rude but at the end of the day I don't want my kids to grow up like I just want to put my life on pause I just feel like I'm such a deep thinker sometimes that it's just like overwhelming and really hard to explain but I know there's if you are one of those people watching and understanding me right now just I don't think I even have to say anything just just know I know and you're not alone and you're going to be okay um my heart is hurting literally right now thinking about all the people out there that are probably struggling with what I'm struggling with and there's all kinds of things I'm struggling with. and there's like but I also feel like this happiness and like faith that everything happens for a reason and God takes care of his children and <sighs> once again I don't know what <laughs> the point of me filming this video is a lot of the times I film videos like this and I don't end up posting them but for some reason I'm gonna fight through that awkward phase of like, oh, should I post it, should I not? Do I take this out, do I take this out? Like, I'm just gonna post it. And if it makes you feel awkward, I'm sorry. Um, I'm still the same person. 
but I think I'm a better improved person and I hope I keep learning and growing and I don't know, I'm just so excited but so scared of what God has for me. Like I trust him, okay, but to be honest, like I question everybody <laughs> and that probably sounds bad, but <sighs> I have learned I'm working on loving that part about myself. I cannot tell you guys how bad I struggle with self-image, um, not just physically, but like inside. And I get emotional talking about it because I almost feel like it's an insult to God. Like. He created me. I am perfect in his eyes, right? But when I see myself, I just want to be able to love myself the way he loves me. And I want to, I just want to love myself more. I want to respect myself more. I want to take care of myself more. And, um, And I cry because I'm sad and happy. Like, uh, it's just a lot. And for the longest time I've thought, do I make a video? Do I post something? Should I just make like a normal video and act like I didn't just disappear off social media? Like, not that I'm any important person or whatever, like, but there were a few people that reached out to me like, hey, are you okay? Like, did you, I saw you delete all your stuff, like blah, blah. So, if you're one of those people, I am okay, and I, like, I, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate that you even, like, took the time to check up on me, um, because even maybe if I wasn't okay at the time, I knew I was gonna be okay, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to get social media back. <sighs> um, I kind of like found comfort in my new routine, my new way of life. And I'm kind of scared to go back into old ways, old habits where I wasn't as loving and forgiving and honest and like all this kind of stuff. I don't know how to explain it, but I need to stop worrying <clears throat> about my past because obviously I can't change anything about it um, and that's just really hard for me I really 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 struggle with letting things go and moving on and I struggle with self-love and I'm just proud of the little changes that I have made and I want to share that because if you are like me or if you feel like maybe you can relate to me I know I didn't really speak into details about what I'm going through but I want you to like look at me and I want to be the proof that you could like you're gonna be okay too like do not give up don't make some stupid decision that you can't take back um and like and i mean that in general literally with anything you make one wrong decision like you either feel bad about it you can't take it back you're affecting other people like you really need to stop and think of what you're doing and if you can't do it for yourself you can't do it for the people around you if you believe in god do it for him I don't know, I just feel like I really needed to share what I've kind of been going through. Um, oh my gosh, so I might put this up like in the video in itself just because I've been running my mouth and I don't know how I'm going to edit this and like how it's going to come out. I don't want to offend anybody because obviously I don't really know who watches my videos, but just know even though I don't know your name specifically, I am praying for the people like me who are struggling with similar things that I'm struggling with and just know that you're in my prayers and um, you're loved, okay? And 
it's gonna be okay. I don't really know what else to say. Um, that's probably gonna be it. I will see you guys in another video. Um, it felt good to come on here and talk. I still feel a little awkward. But um, yeah, I will see you guys another time. Bye.